technically speaking, Doctor Who Weekly is a magazine and not a comic. Uh, well, not a comic in the traditional sense, but as it has comics in it, alongside regular articles, and the, it is published, it was published in the UK by Marvel UK. I consider this uh, to be an interesting topic to talk about for my Euro Comic Thursday. Hi, I'm Annie. And it is not only Euro Comic Thursday, every Thursday I talk about a European comic or graphic novel, but it is also Garbogust. And I am doing all of the prompts on the Gar Bingo card. And this fits the prompt long running series. As Doctor Who started, the television series, uh, series started back in 1963, which is a long time, and it ran until 1989, and it was rebooted back in 2005, and it is still running. Anyway, uh, the, uh, there was also the Doctor Who Weekly magazine, and I read the first issue of it that was published in 1979. Uh, it was published by the UK arm of Marvel Comics. Uh, the magazine uh, moved from weekly to monthly um, with issue 44 and that was in uh, published in September 1918. 18? <laughs> <laughs> and um, then it became uh, Doctor Who Monthly, and all along the way it's changed its title to the Doctor Who Magazine in December uh, 80, 1985. And the magazine has remained under that title ever since. In 1990 the magazine started appearing once every four weeks, so there were 13 issues published in a year. And despite the BBC discontinuing the te television series back in 1989, the magazine continued with uh, new stories and new articles and new uh, comic stories, uh, Doctor Who comic stories. So. Uh, the Doctor Who stayed alive anyway. And uh, the television program was, like I said, revived in back in 2005. And that was the time when, um, well, I started to watch Doctor Who. That was my first, the, the with um, Eccleston, who played Doctor who was my first introduction to Doctor Who, the television series, and I enjoyed the humor of it about this quirky time traveler. So uh, I can highly recommend the series as well as this magazine. So this first issue of Doctor Who Weekly, um, well, I, I enjoyed it very much. The magazine has a great start with uh, the comic Doctor Who and the Iron Legion. The story is written by Mills and Wagner and the wonderful detailed artwork is done by Dave Gibbons. In this uh, first installment of the story, um, the Doctor has to outsmart <laughs> these robot villains of the in eternal war. And uh, the doctor's usually <laughs> chit-chatty manner of finding things out uh, is intertwined with a lot of action, which I found just excellent. Although this episode ends with a cliffhanger, I haven't found the time yet to uh, read the other episodes uh, and fin uh, finish reading this story, but I'm 
I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I, I will put a link to uh, where you can find this magazine in the description box below so you can read it for yourself. Then there is a regular article in it, the day of the Daleks, 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 <laughs> Daleks. <laughs> and this is about how um, creator Terry Nation came up with the concept of these uh, unusual, well, machine-like creatures. And it was funny to read that he took inspiration from dancers, the Georgian state dancers, who seemed to glide over the stage rather than uh, jumping, dancing and walking and uh, what dancers do on stage. They seem to glide over the stage. And um, Terry Nation thought this was a good way to, uh, to let these villains, the, these machine-like villains, rather glide over the ground than walk or whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, that was an interesting article. Then there is uh, the comic The War of the Worlds by H.G. E. Wells. Well, you know, you probably <laughs> have guessed of the title that this is based on the novel of H.G. Wells. And this is not a Doctor Who issue, uh, comic, but the script, the script was written by Chris Claremont and the dynamic artwork was created by Young uh, Montano and Dino uh, Castrillo. And then there is an article about the different actors portraying Doctor Who and uh, well, how they, they played it and uh, what was the difference b between their approach. There is also a short biography of William Hartnell in this issue, which was who he was, the first ever Doctor Who. And this issue ends with the comic, re The Return of the Daleks. And the script was written by Steve Moore and the artwork was done by Paul Neary, he did the layouts and David Lloyd did the actual drawings. And the issue ends. No, I already said that. <laughs> well, if you are a Doctor Who enthusiast like me, I can highly recommend you pick up some of the issues of Doctor Who Weekly. Meanwhile, keep those pulp juices flowing and I hope to see you in the next uh, video.